Good day, everybody. You might want to turn it on too, eh? You get the generator going here. First pull. You turn the choke on. Yep, that's set. The gas on. Yep. All right. Look at that. Young fellow's gonna vacuum out the truck here, clean it out. Just checking to see if this uh, this works or not. Guess we're gonna find out, aren't we, guys? It looks all right. What's called that one? Turn it on, see if it works first. <laughs> no, he's going through all the, all the things of the something doesn't work. All right, that's good enough. See if she starts up. Look at that. Right on. It goes in this side here. It's blown that side, you put it in the other side. The blow side sucks side. Right? That's right, you got her. You'll learn how to suck someday. This little baby doesn't <laughs> I hope you guys didn't hear that. That's uh... That little baby doesn't have to suck. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what a mess. So we got to run the generator for a little bit to charge the battery up, so we might as well do that today too. So what are we doing today, guys? A little of this and a little of that, I think. Get the truck cleaned out, run the generator for a while, charge the battery up, in case we need it. Um, what else are we gonna do today? We'll get a lot of this stuff cleaned up, messed up, all this done up. Take the rest of the wood out of that piano piece down there. And uh, get the filing cabinet loaded up. Get that bar I got for uh, one of my trailers out of here. We got a little truck with all the scrap we can get. Tear apart the TVs, clean up the sinks. I'm gonna take this inside now that it's dried out and uh, see if this little heater works. Because if it does, that would be a cool thing to have in the shop for a heater, which we got it all insulated for this winter coming. A nice little piece. We'll get all these tires ready to be loaded up because I'm taking them away today, or tomorrow, I should say. Throw them on the load, dump them off the drop-off spot in town. <coughs> so we get all this stuff out of here. Bring over the trailers, put them down there. There was a garage, two trailers. We'll finish sorting through here. We did a little bit of cleanup there last night. We got this started here. Got some bottles picked up, some wires and whatnot. Got this area started and cleaned up on our outside workspace. Get this stuff cleaned up and processed on the truck. And then get into this stuff here, get this all processed on the truck. All this stuff, sort out what's supposed to be going, what's not. The squirrel cages back there, we'll start taking them apart. And uh, that, was that unit there lay on top. Uh, there's a barbecue back there, we'll get that. We'll get those two CRT TVs back there, two or three CRT TVs. Take them apart, take the big, he said take the big one apart. Get all this stuff cleaned up. Yeah, take apart the golf clubs. Got two, two things, two sets of golf clubs here. Clean them up, take them away, and uh, then we're going to uh, clean up beside the house where we, where we just were. That mess, we got all the garbage we dropped, get that all straightened out, clean this up. Then we're moving my seating area here, my burn pit, a back by the cedars. Have to be that cleaned up today. So, might not get it all done today, but we're going to try to get a lot of it. All right, guys, we'll see you in a few. I don't know what I'll be able to do, but we'll be doing something. And we're back. It's evening. It's been a long day, guys. You gotta put this stuff away. Well, he does. It's evening time. Almost time for us all to go to bed, get our treats and stuff, bud. Almost that time, huh? <coughs> you gonna stay out till dark where it's nice and cool, eh? You don't like being in the house in the warmth. No. It's just perfect temperature out here today for him. It's not cold, it's not hot, it's just right. So we went up to our neighbors and uh, we just went up to get a truck box. <coughs> so we got the truck box on and he said, hey, I got some more stuff. So we got the truck box, got it all ready for tomorrow morning. <coughs> he gave us that stove there. That's heavy as heck. Everything here he gave us. Some more cast uh, steel to go along with the stove. 
That tank's heavy as heck. Some more, uh, uh, that's an eighth inch thick. That's, that's number one. <coughs> some shred to go on that. Some more shred. Some more cast. Set like this to throw away. A couple, some number one. Some uh, sheets of uh, tin there. We're going to throw the barbecue right on top of it. That barbecue top right over there before dark. We're just getting on there pretty quick. <coughs> I'm going to clean the bottom off those two uh, stainless steel sinks tomorrow morning. Take them in with me. Put the puppy up for a couple hours before we go to town. I got to move this out of the way and this out of the way. Because the next couple of days, there's a car coming here. It's going to be parked right here. <coughs> Bought a scrap car for. Uh, First time buying it, well, I had a scrap car given to me here a while back. But this is the first time I'm actually buying a scrap car. It's uh, not just for the year, it's a Ford Edge. It uh, starts up and drives and everything. My buddy up the road, I got to steer stuff from. He's going to bring up parking right here for me. He's just a half mile down the road. Park in here for me, and I'm going to strip her down, sell parts off, and haul the rest of the scrap here. See if I can make more than a street 50. So that's a little project. We'll see what happens there. <coughs> we put the SUV, put the SUV for up for sale for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening, because the same guy got all the stuff from. He's got a truck there. My son just fell in love with. I think he's that 2011 uh, Chevy Z71 four wheel drive two door truck, eight foot box. So we're going to sell the SUV this week and uh, buy him the truck. That's right, the truck. That means. He will be hauling scrap with dad because he'll have his full license. Well, his first license where he can drive on his own, uh, probably next month at the latest. And the truck's going to his name, the other truck, the Chevy truck. We're going to be working the rocker panels and stuff. You know, that'll be some good experience for him fixing up a vehicle. So I say, you never know what's going to happen in a day, in a day in life with scrap, you never know what's going to happen. <coughs> he started in the morning, I was going to get all this stuff done, and then we got called away for that box, and then we loaded everything else up. <coughs> So we'll load that on there. I just need help with that. I got a bunch of small uh, shred and buckets in the shop there. I'll take that in the morning, clean the shop out, or the shack out here. Then I drop this load off tomorrow. We'll get weighed and paid for the first load. And then I've got to go to the shop in the city there, and I got a load of shred to go there, at least a load, maybe two tomorrow. So I'm going to hold as much shred as I can to the shop tomorrow. I'll get it over. Get some cash off for the first of the week, be a Monday. And then tomorrow night... We're going to be out in East St. John to pick up a barbecue and a deep freeze. And the young fellow's got to put a barbecue together for the lady. Yeah, you heard me right. She calls regularly for uh, stuff to be picked up. And uh, she bought a new barbecue. She wants to take the old one, and she wants to pay my little guy to put her new one together for her. So we'll take Squirrel there with us tomorrow evening, and he can put the barbecue together for her. And uh, he gets money for that. So keeping him busy. I'll get the... The rest of the wood knocked off that piano piece there tomorrow, or next day. <coughs> and we'll throw that stuff on. We'll probably throw a small steel on there tomorrow. You know, the, pot, the piece of the stove that was there. We're going to take that the heater in, as I said, and try that and see if it works. Yeah, well, I'll cut up a few things to get it ready to go in the morning. Pretty much got a full load anyways with what I got in the shop, or the shack here, sorry. And what's sitting in the air to throw in, we should have it filled right up. So, we're hoping for a... $60 of this tomorrow morning. That's our goal. We want $60 off the first load. And uh, second load, I'd like to have another 60 or 100, 60 or 80 bucks off the second load. So my goal for tomorrow is between this load and next load, I want to have 120 bucks. That's my goal. 120 bucks for tomorrow. Do you think we can do it? Oh, come back tomorrow and see you guys. All right, everybody, y'all have a good night. Y'all take care. God bless. Thanks for subscribing, guys. It's getting up there and the watch hours looking good. Really appreciate all the support, guys, honestly. Y'all take care. Have a great one. God bless.